Hello and welcome to another one of my Pipedrive training videos. Today, I want to show you how you can integrate your Pipedrive sales CRM with an email marketing tool like MailChimp using this tool, OutFunnel. Now, the reason you might want to do this is, let's say you have a new contact or a new deal in Pipedrive, and you want to integrate with MailChimp so that you can send that person emails, or better yet, maybe you want to put them in a drip campaign so that you can warm that lead, send them emails, um, and you want to automate that entire process. Well, OutFunnel is an integration that allows you to do that, and it syncs contacts that you create in Pipedrive to your MailChimp account, and better yet, it will actually then sync information from MailChimp back to Pipedrive. So when someone is sent an email, if they open the email, or even if they click a link in the email, all of that information will then go back into Pipedrive and onto the deal, so you or your sales team can actually see who's engaging with those sales emails. So it's a great way of bringing Pipedrive and MailChimp together. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Or if you do need one-on-one -on -one support setting up Pipedrive, integrating with MailChimp or OutFunnel, you can book a complimentary introductory call with me using the link in my description, and I can talk you through my consulting services. And don't forget, if you are a new Pipedrive user, and if you're still within your 15-day trial, you can use my affiliate code in the description below to extend your trial to 45 days. So let's get into it. So when you create your account, the first thing you are going to want to do is to integrate Pipedrive and MailChimp. So I've already created or connected my two accounts, but it's very simple. You literally just connect, uh, click the connect button, you log into Pipedrive and MailChimp one by one, and you just approve the connection. There's no API keys to mess around with. Uh, connecting your accounts is dead simple and literally takes a couple of minutes. Once you've got those connections in place, you want to come to this automations screen. And this is where we set up and decide how we want the integrations to work. So the first thing we're going to want to do is integrate Pipedrive to MailChimp so that if we create a new contact, we push that to MailChimp. So this might be when you want to uh, put a new deal, a new contact into a drip campaign, or use them in your MailChimp marketing and sending emails uh, from contacts that you create initially in Pipedrive. And we can set up multiple automations if we want different types of contacts to go onto different lists. Uh, I'm just going to set up one simple automation here. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose what contacts do I want to sync. I could sync everyone if I want. But we can see here these are the other filters in my account and I'm just going to sync my VIP contacts. This is a filter that I have set up. And then down here I'm going to choose where in MailChimp do I want them to go. So I'm going to choose which list to put them on. I have just two lists. So I'm going to put them on my consulting list. And then finally, you can choose what attributes from Pipedrive do you want to copy across. I just want the name and email. I don't really need any of this other information, but you could sync other information across, which you can then dynamically insert into your emails if you need to. So now I'm going to go ahead and create that automation. And so now MailChimp will start syncing uh, this, or OutFunnel will start syncing this data. So I'm just going to set up a test case. So let's say Paul Miners. Just going to use my own name. And let's just go Paul Miners plus outfunnel at me.com and let's create a new deal outfunnel test and we'll put that in my prospecting stage and then because this is uh, I'm using the VIP contacts filter this is a special filter of mine I have a groups custom field here so I'm going to add them to the VIP contact group that's just my filter so now this contact should sync to uh, from from Pipedrive to MailChimp. Now this will happen in a few minutes. If I click back on my integration here, I can sync now and, and fast track the sync, but it will run it on its own every few minutes. While that's happening, I'm gonna set up the second part of my integration, which is pushing data from MailChimp back to Pipedrive. So I'm gonna create a new automation and I'm gonna sync from my consulting list, which is the one that I chose in the first step. And first thing I get to decide is when an email is sent, how do I want that to be recorded? I could have that just created as a note in a deal, I'm actually going to record it as an activity, a custom activity here. And that way I've chosen that because then I can see in my reports for activities completed every month how many emails were sent through MailChimp. These two options let me decide if an email is opened or if a link is clicked, what do you want to do? Again, you could create an activity, but for these two things I'm just going to create a note for each of these things. And then finally down the bottom you get to decide here if someone does click a link do you want to create a new deal? So this could be used if you do have like a drip sequence where maybe inbound leads go into a drip sequence and then when they click a specific link maybe that's a cue that they've been qualified in some way and so you could create a deal. 
I'm actually not going to do that for this example, but you do have that option if you want, if you want to. And then finally, I'm going to record unsubscribes as notes as well. So let's create that automation. And again, that's going to take a few minutes. If I just refresh this page now, I might actually see that, yep, 10 records have been synced, which was less uh, about a minute ago. So now if I go to MailChimp, I might do a quick test, just see if my contact has come across. Let's search for them now. So let's search contacts. And I can see there's, there's the contact that I just created is now popping up in MailChimp. Okay, so I have my email ready to go. It's just going to one person, which is me, but obviously you'll be sending it to a lot more people. I'm going to click send on my campaign and send it now. So that'll probably take a few minutes just to come through to my inbox. And again, OutFunnel will take a few minutes to sync data back from MailChimp, so I might fast track this sync now. And here we are a few minutes later, I can see that OutFunnel has created a brand new activity, which is the OutFunnel test campaign, which has been sent. And there's even a link to the campaign. So there's the activity, it's been marked as complete. And this basically represents the email that has been sent. If I go to my inbox, here's the email, I'm going to open that now. So this should trigger OutFunnel to create a note. And I might just click one of these links as well, just to show you a click. Let's go back to my deal. Again, it will take a few minutes for OutFunnel to sync this data across. I might just fast track this a little bit and choose to sync now. And here we are, a few minutes later, I can see that the rest of the information has come through. So there's a note that says, uh, Paul Miners, you know, this campaign was opened. And then a second note that says that this particular link was clicked. So there we are, all the information I can see from MailChimp has now populated the deal that I set up in Pipedrive. As you can see, it's a great way of integrating the two tools as you're doing your marketing, sending emails, maybe warming your leads through MailChimp, having all that valuable data pushed back into Pipedrive for your sales team. So let me know if you have any questions about OutFunnel, MailChimp or Pipedrive. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.